Hello, 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 gorgeous one. You are with Abiola Abrams, and we're getting all sacred in the city today. We are outside the Hotel Plaza Athene, where we're going to be interviewing one of my favorite mentors, Ms. Jackie J. Collins. We're going to be talking about the Santangelos, her latest book, about what it means to be a powerful woman like her main character, Lucky, and about how to be an entrepreneur and a spiritpreneur. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. This is so, so exciting. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are all about being sacred and the city, as I like to say. We are here with the incredible, the phenomenal, the fabulous Ms. Jackie Collins. Welcome, Jackie. Well, I'm delighted to be here with you because you are amazing. She's an amazing <laughs> woman. And I love it when we get to talk and spend time together. Yeah. I do, too. I do, too. You are one of my mentors. And so, Jackie. Thank you. You're welcome. What I wanted to talk to you about today, besides, of course, your newest book, The San Angelos, yes. <laughs> is about being a powerful woman. You write powerful women. You are a powerful woman. So before we get into that, please tell us about this newest book. Well, The San Angelos, I bring back Lucky San Angelo. I know Ooh, you love her. Yes, I know my, my readers love her. And it's an epic saga. There is a murder that somebody is set up for. Bobby don't is give set away, up for. Don't give away gonna too give much. Away. They, they're going to be surprised, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is an assassination. I'm not going to say who it is. Uh, Max, like surprised. his daughter, is a it girl in Europe. And she is like a, you know, like a little Cara Delevingne running around, becoming fantastically famous. And you know, Lenny's kind of like her father is like, what's going on with Max? And then there is a Colombian drug dealer, a sleazy <laughs> agent, a young girl who's trying to be uh, a star again. She was a child star, and then she got into bad company and DUIs and all of that, and now she's trying to be a star again. And there's this whole cast of characters, and Lucky has to, sa has to save everyone. She has to solve everyone's problems. So, because she can. Because she can. Yes. Because as Lucky does. As Lucky does, yeah. <laughs> so that, Jackie, makes you uniquely qualified, I think, to talk about powerful women. One of the things that I've noticed amongst my friends yeah. and the women of my generation is that there's an exciting movement of women entrepreneurs who are doing their thing. Well, look at you. Thank You're doing you. your thing. Thank you very much. I mean, since the first time I met you, you you've just done amazing things. And it's great to see that. Well, you thank look so you. beautiful, too. She should be a character in one of my books. <laughs> you know what? Yes. I was thinking in your rich, uh, what is it, the Hollywood, the rich Beverly Hills bitches, rich oh, bitches of... bitches of Beverly Hills. I was like, you should have like a, a spiritual life coach character that I comes in. I love it. It's going in immediately. <laughs> she will be from Guyana. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And she will be very... I, I, I'm so excited about this book. It's called The Bitches of Beverly Hills. It's a short story but it will be fun for people to read and see the characters. And it's going to be out next year as a really short story. In the meantime, you can read The Sant'Angelo's, which is a really long yes, story. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, the beautiful thing, Jackie, thank you for that, is that when we are reading a Jackie Collins novel, yeah. we are in your world. You create such a rich world. Can you share about your writing process, your creative process? Well, I write in longhand, so I have my black felt pen with me at all times. And I usually will sit there at 9 o'clock in the morning, start writing, 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 till about 5 o'clock. And then I'll take a break to watch some television, because I'm a television addict. <laughs> and then I will watch some TV. Then I will go out with friends. And then the next day, it'll start all over again. So it's kind of a routine. But my characters take me on such a wild trip. And you talked about powerful women. I want to bring that message to women that mm -hmm. women can do anything they want to do. And I have this motto that I say to young women, which is girls can do anything and don't you ever forget it. And have respect for yourself. If you have respect for yourself, people are going to have respect for you. And it's not going on. You have to tell these young girls that that's what it should be because with the internet and everything now, you know, and they're looking at all these half-naked huge stars and the other people with their sex tapes and they think, oh, is that the way I could become successful? No, you have to become successful by working, yes. by doing what you want to do, by having a passion for what you want to do. If you have a passion for it, it's never work. 
Yes, yeah. that is, I think, such an important message. If you have a passion for it, it's never work. Jackie, where does that come from in you? you I know that you come from a working <sighs> class background, and you know, you and your sister kind of had to make it on your own in Hollywood from the bottom up. Where does that kind of strength come well, we from? We came from like a middle class okay, family. Okay. Okay. My father was a kind of affluent, but not. I mean, he wouldn't share anything with anybody, but he was always <laughs> beautifully dressed and a bit of a chauvinist. And I think that I was the middle child. I have a younger brother and an older sister who was Joan Collins. And Joan went off to Hollywood to be a movie star, while I got expelled from school and was 15. And then I followed her to Hollywood at 15. But I wanted to make my mark. I didn't want to be just Joan's little sister. So I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to write. And I thought, if I'm going to do this, I have to do it myself. Because my parents said to me, oh, no, 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 no. You have to go to college if you want to write. You have to get a degree. You have to do this. You have to do that. No, ladies, you follow your dream. That's what you do. <laughs> yes. And I followed my dream. And 32 bestsellers later, um, I think I've achieved a lot for a school dropout. Yes, 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 you have. You have 32, correction. I, I said 30, 32 bestsellers. Well, Jackie, how is it? Well, actually, I want to talk about prosperity okay. and abundance because your characters always live in these fabulous, aspirational worlds. And I find that when I'm talking to women mm. entrepreneurs, authorpreneurs, spiritpreneurs, yes, yes. mommypreneurs, yeah. they, a lot of women, we have issues with money. Women are afraid of money. They want the men to handle it. Oh, my husband knows. I don't know where anything is. I don't know how to pay the bills or whatever it is. Or we're just afraid of money and abundance. They Can you speak to that? They should never do that. When you get married to a guy, you've got to know everything about your financial situation. It's not just him. You're a partnership when you get married. But most men think, well, it's my money. I've married her. She can look after the kids and do the cooking. It's my money. It's not his money. It's their money when they're married. And I think that women should be more interested in, in that because if he becomes abusive and they have nothing of their own, they cannot escape the situation. And I think that, you know, maybe I should write about that. I've never written about yes, that. And I think that do. I should because women are, you know, constantly abused by men. Mm -hmm. And it's really sad because they might have two kids. He threatens to kill the family. Mm -hmm. He's so apologetic the next day. Oh, I'm so sorry. And they take him back. And they take him back because they've got no resources to yes. do anything else. And so I think that women have to have something for themselves, mm -hmm. whether it be writing books, whether it be making cupcakes, whether it be doing a sewing business, maybe you have an alteration business, whatever it is, it's something that it's your money. Yes. And I've seen really intelligent women and the men have totally taken them for a ride, you know? Yes, he either decides to leave or they, the number one question I get to my advice column, Jackie, is why can't I leave? I'm in this situation, I'm stuck here, a lot of women feel just they stuck. They cannot leave because financially they cannot leave mm. because they have no other place to go. And you I know. think that's what we love about Lucky. Lucky does Lucky what does. she wants. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, and do. Lenny Lucky. is her biggest. Exactly. You know, He's her supporter. Supporter, yes. You know, they don't then they don't live on top of each other. Lenny and Lucky are great because he has his life, she has hers, and they get together occasionally and they have great <laughs> tantric sex. And uh, they're a perfect couple. I mean, she's been married before, she's had two husbands before. She was married off when she was sixteen by Gino. She's a character that women aspire to be yes, because I think she so. does everything that women would like to do and she says everything that women would like to say, but they don't have the courage to do it and she does it and she gets away with it. She absolutely does. Yeah. And I was watching your interview last night with the fabulous Andy Cohen on Andy Watch Cohen. What Happens yes. Live. And you referenced another powerful woman entrepreneur, Bethany Frankel. And you said, you know, because she's been frazzled visibly on yeah, the show. Exactly. You said she needs to rest and take good care of herself. What do you do, Jackie, to, to take care of you? Because I know right now you're in the middle of a, a madcap book tour. It's, it's really madcap. And when I get back to LA and when I finish my publicity in LA, I shall take a Sunday and I shall not get out of bed and I shall lie there and I shall eat candy and grapes and all kinds of things and I shall binge on television because I'm a television <laughs> addict. Only and one I, Sunday? I might feel guilty, but then I think, oh, I work so hard. Why should I feel guilty? So even you feel guilty at why don't I? Interesting, yeah. No, I feel guilty about lying in bed all day and not writing because <laughs> I love to write. 
and I'm thinking, oh, I've got this project that I'm doing and this project and the autobiography and the photo book, and but then I have to take the day off. You do have to take yes. more than it. I think you've yes. earned a vacation or two. Yeah, <laughs> I did take my whole family to Hawaii at Christmas. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That was great. Yeah, that, that was sounds great. We rented great. a house. It was a beautiful beach. Guess what I was doing? What? They were all writing in the pool, <laughs> and running down the beach, and having a fantastic time. And Watching I was sitting there finishing the Saint Angelos. Finishing the Saint Angelos. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have two more questions for you, Jackie. I would love to know a little bit more about your creative process. You mentioned having seven desks. Can yes. You, can you visually paint a picture for us? Are they in vastly different parts of the house, or the same they part? Are. I was lucky enough to build my own house. And I call it the house that Hollywood Wives built. And it's really large, but it's fantastic. It has a great ambiance. It's filled with uh, bronze panthers and bronze paintings. Uh, I mean, paintings of panthers. And it's filled with um, um, Buddhas. I love oh, Buddhas. I love Buddhas, too. Yes. And so you walk into my house, and it's on a main street. But you feel like you're just anywhere, because it's absolutely silent and lovely. And so I thought, I'm going to have a lot of desks in this house. I have a lot of room, so I have desks for different projects. But my favorite desk is the one that I bought off the Lucky Sant'Angelo set when we were making Lady Boss, and Kim Delaney was playing Lucky. And she was sitting there, and I thought, oh, what a great desk. And I said to the props guy, I, uh, can I get the desk? He said, if you want to buy it, you can get it. And I said, I'm buying Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And I got the desk, so my Lucky Sant'Angelo desk. Oh, that is fabulous. Yeah, that was that in the movie. So if you wow. see the movie, you see the desk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll definitely check that out. And, and yes. is it OK if I ask you, because you mentioned the Buddhas, right. is there any sort of sacred practice that you use to, to become still? I call myself a hovering Buddhist a because hovering. I totally I believe in the religion. That's the religion I believe in. It's very quiet and very peaceful. I don't often chant, but if I had the opportunity and more time, I probably would. But I just feel very peaceful. I just, you know, when I, when I see my Buddhas, I, they just fill me with a, a great sense of peace. And I, I, I love it. I love that kind of feeling. Wow. Well, if you do include an Aviola-like uh, character, she must chant. Chanting is a big part of what I do with my yes. Tibetan bowls. She absolutely must oh, chant. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so oh. last question, Jackie. What is your biggest accomplishment to date? I know you are just getting started. There's the photo book coming, yeah, the sure, autobiography. Yeah, I'm just getting started. <laughs> my biggest accomplishment to date, to date is my three daughters. Yeah, yes. I have three incredible daughters. Tiffany, uh, Rory, Rory, and... Um, Tracy. Tiffany, yeah. Rory, and Tracy. Tracy works uh, with uh, schools in, in England, and Rory writes, and she wrote this book, Playing Along, by Rory Samantha Green. It's on Kindle, etc. And Tiffany makes wonderful bags. She has a, a company um, on the internet called LA Patton, P-A-T-T-E-R-N. So I'm very proud of all three of them. I'm the proud mom. But they're also my best friends. They're incredible mm -hmm. women. They're not Hollywood kids. They, they've grown into incredible women. That is absolutely beautiful. You're yeah. making me tear up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I always love talking to you. I always You're love talking to you too, Jackie. What I started tearing up at is how the perfection of the world that, you know, that all that is, whatever is out there, God, the universe, however people feel comfortable to term it, should give Jackie Collins three powerful daughters to raise. Oh, yes, three powerful daughters, yeah. So, thank you, Jackie. Thank you. This has been incredible. So fun. I look yes. forward to our next conversation. I know, and we will have it. We'll have it with the next book. And you must check out the San Angelos, available wherever you buy books. Please go to Jackie's site, follow her on Twitter and across social media, and if you tweet her, she just might tweet you back. I do, I'm Jackie J. Collins on Twitter. At Jackie J. Collins on Twitter and I have so much fun with it. I love the social media. Yes, yeah. you're so savvy. And I so know, I love it. <laughs> we have to have a picture. Yes, yes, yes we will. Okay. Let's do it. All right.